It has been 18 years since Natalie Holloway disappeared during a high school graduation trip in Aruba. The 18-year-old's body was never found. A prime suspect in her disappearance was Joran Vandersloot, though he was never charged. Now, as Jim Murray reports, Vandersloot may be extradited to the United States. It's a startling new twist to a heartbreaking cold case. Teenager Natalie Holloway disappeared on a school trip to Aruba 18 years ago this month. Now the man suspected of murdering her will be brought to the U.S. in shackles. Hey, Joran, you want to be extradited to the States? Joran Vandersloot is serving 28 years in prison in Peru for murdering another young woman in his hotel room five years to the day after Natalie disappeared. Fox Nation host Nancy Grace has been following the saga since 2005. I will never forget when Natalie Holloway went missing and the desperation her family endured trying to find her. It broke my heart. Vandersloot will stand trial in federal court in Alabama, charged with extortion and wire fraud. In 2010, he allegedly tried to shake down Natalie's mother, Beth Holloway, for $250,000 for information on where Natalie's remains could be found, but he never revealed any new information. In an extraordinary confrontation behind bars after his arrest in Peru, Natalie's mother begged Vandersloot for answers, which never came. I want to know what happened, and I want to move on, Iran. I want to move on. I really don't know yet, but I mean, it is the least that I owe you. Natalie was on a senior class trip to Aruba, staying at a Holiday Inn. She was last seen leaving this bar with Vandersloot and two other men. Vandersloot claims she was alive when he left her near this lighthouse. Private eye T.J. Ward investigated her disappearance. Maybe he'll start telling the truth and give us the right answers to bring relief to the family and tell them what happened to Natalie and where Natalie may be. Natalie's mom has never given up trying to solve the mystery and keeps Natalie's memory alive, speaking to students about traveling in safety. Do you ever hope to find your daughter? Uh, I think as parents we always have hope, but yes, I do still have hope that we will find out the answer. She said in a statement today she would be 36 years old now. It has been a very long and painful journey, but the persistence of many is going to pay off. Together, we are finally getting justice for Natalie. Justice in Natalie's case would be life behind bars without parole or the death penalty. If he does come to the United States after the legal proceedings here, Vandersloot will be returned to Peru to continue his prison sentence there. He's due for release in 2038.